to our rangers. The new rad suits are ready and waiting. You should be able to get through the northern radiation wall with no difficulty. Now, as for the southern radiation wall, like I said before, it's gonna take some of the good stuff. Medical grade sea life. Keep an eye out for it when you're up in Griffith. They'll probably keep it in a secure area. For now, just grab all you can. I won't know exactly how much we need until I can talk it over with Mercap. For one, you've given several of your team members field promotions for their recent actions. Well done. Congratulations, Echo One. You've done well. Good luck out there. I ever tell you the one about the chicken? What's the difference between a ham radio and a chicken radio? Give up? A chicken radio never squeals. Ha! Never gets old.
But I guess it may be easier for them to triangulate that position. From now on, I'll run it in frequency hopping mode. Bay base, come in. 10-4, Echo-1. Got a distress call coming from near your position. Mutant creatures attacking a farm. Respond ASAP. Copy. 10-4, Echo-1. Sending your coordinates now. Be advised. Caller is trapped in a house and reports multiple hostiles. Approach with caution and advise when complete. Poison from corrupting the world? 
Would they forcibly separate a couple who was about to engage in unmarried sex in order to save them from sin? Would they put a homosexual out of his misery and allow him to enter the kingdom of heaven? No, they would not. They are much too polite for that. They couldn't possibly interfere where they weren't wanted. Well, they're forgetting something. They're forgetting to ask what God wanted. The business of saving souls ain't got nothing to do with politeness, brothers and sisters. We gotta show sinners the error of their ways, whether they want us to or not. So, the next time you see one of the Manorite civility patrols, remember that they are protecting sinners and turning a blind eye to perversion. They are the devil with a smiling face. And you know what we do with the devil, don't we? <laughs> That's right! We give them hell, brothers and sisters! We give them hell! Oh. Ha! Brother Malediction, I hear you ask. Brother Malediction, who was this Luke Samson? Who was the man who we now call the Red Messiah? Who was our savior? Well, brothers and sisters, I'll tell you. Seventy-five years ago, Luke Sampson was just another man. Lived right here in Hollywood. And, to be honest, he wasn't even a particularly good man. He was a scavenger, like so many are in these hard times. And known to drink and cuss and occasionally settle arguments with the help of a sledgehammer. But, one night, one night, when he was digging into the rubble of a TV station down in Gower Gulch, he stumbled upon a video cassette that was to change his life. Thinking, hoping, that it was some kind of pre-apocalypse pornography, he found himself a working VCR and popped it in. It wasn't pornography, brothers and sisters. Oh, oh, oh no. It was Salvation! What Luke Sampson had found was the last surviving record of the wisest prophet of the pre-apocalyptic age, the great James King! Can I get a hallelujah, brothers and sisters?
I've never seen such an open town. I've never seen such an open town. Got a lot of friends.
and sisters. There is a cancer at the bottom of our beautiful mountain. A festering wound that curdles the eye as we look down upon that land. Hollywood! That open sewer of vice and degradation. An abomination of sin and perversion. Heidi Hollander, the monstrous madam who runs the place, claims that all crimes there are victimless that all sin is consensual, and that no one gets hurt who doesn't want to be hurt. Well, I say hogwash. The hurt is to the soul, Madam Hollander. You are selling damnation in pretty perfumed packages, turning the heads of the innocent from the face of God with come-hither looks and bedroom eyes. You are corrupting souls faster than we can cleanse them! Well, it's gonna stop. And it's gonna stop soon, Ms. Hollander. Gird your putrid loins, you whore of Babylon, because God's militia is coming for you. With our bayonets, we will bleed the sin from your hearts. With our guns, we will blast the devil from your privates! In death shall ye be saved, Hollywood. In death shall ye be saved. Don't tell Willa I was in here, will you? Welcome to she Heidi's Hollywood Hideaway. But she knows where your I'll pleasure look. is our pleasure. I'm Heidi Hollander at your service. Ah, it's you again, Rangers. Please forgive my brusqueness at the cemetery. It's hard to be pleasant when one is grieving. What can I do for you all? Are you here for business or pleasure? Or both? I am the owner and madam of the hideaway, Heidi Hollander. It's my pleasure to provide pleasure to all who come through these doors. You want to help me? Isn't that sweet? Sadly, though, the hideaway has all the talent we need at the moment. And the HSP seems to have everything in Hollywood well in hand. <laughs> Unless you were thinking of storming the Bastion of Faith and sending those god militia madmen packing, I'm afraid I have nothing for you. They are the bane of my existence. For years, they were too busy fighting the gangs of Los Feliz and Glendale to bother us. But now that those territories are pacified, 
they've declared us their new crusade. They raid us constantly, breaking through our walls, plundering our supply caravans, killing without mercy. I have lost friends, employees, and it is killing our businesses too. The tourists who are our lifeblood are afraid to visit. We are withering away. Everything I have worked to create here is threatened. Well, I won't let it happen. The militia want to erase us from the face of the earth. I'll erase them first. I don't know how yet, but I won't rest until the Bastion of Faith is a smoking wreck. A wild, barbaric place across the river to the east. I don't know much about it, and never had the inclination to learn more. A tiny little place that only exists so that the aspirants who come to the Bastion for the Gauntlet of Samson can have a place to sleep before starting up the hill. A trial by combat, named after their goon of a messiah, Red Samson. Aspirants who want to join the militia must fight their way up through killing fields of mutants and monstrous beasts to the observatory. Excuse me, the Bastion of Faith. Some street crazy with a sledgehammer who saw a videotape and thought he found God. Died in a gang fight about 50 years ago. The only thing more pathetic than the story of his life is the fools who believe he was the second coming. The militia turned the old observatory into a fortress and let beasts and mutants run wild in the park below it, as protection against attack, and as a challenge for the fanatic fools who want to join their ranks. The Gauntlet of Samson, they call it. The finest police force in the West, oh, with the possible exception of the Rangers, of course. You will not meet a more dedicated group of men and women. I swear they are never out of uniform. May I recommend enjoying one of our icons, each hearkening back to the golden age of star making. On the female side, we have our blonde bombshell Marilyn, our brunette playmate Raquel, our sweet soul sister Pam, and our beach bunny Bo. On the male side, we have our brooding rebel Dean, our perfect gentleman, Carrie. Our smooth operator, Billy D. And our suntan surfer, Hasselhoff. And if none of those strike your fancy, or if you prefer the darker side of things, Mistress Veronica awaits you in the dungeon below with the more dangerous selection of companions. Now, which shall it be? Hmm, my dearest darling, who came to me lost and alone, and who under my tutelage blossomed to become the most beloved of my icons. Then later, the dark and delicious mistress she is today. She is my second in command, an inspired performer who can be gracious or cruel, kind or cold. Whichever her visitors desire. You'll find what you're looking for in the back room. You'll find what you're looking for in the back room. All right, all right. There are one or two things on my plate that require a steadier hand than the HSP can provide. One will test your diplomacy. The other will test your martial abilities. If you take care of the first for me, then we'll see about letting you take a crack at those pistol-packing prees. Are you interested? 
Marvelous. Then here is the first one. My most trusted lieutenant, Mistress Veronica. Lady of pain and ecstasy. Has been acting oddly lately. I have seen similar behavior before, and while I could not believe it of her at first, I worry she may be in love. And a prostitute, a dominatrix no less, in love is of less value than one unattached. So my quest for you, find out if I'm right, speak to her, offer to help, and see if she admits her condition. Come back when you're looking for some entertainment. Now there's a woman. It's a business doing pleasure with.